COVID has done something to the knees, guys. My heels would have never been this short. My heels. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am actually going to be showing you guys some stuff that I recently bought. I went shopping because I wanted to um, spice up my wardrobe a bit. We are going into winter in South Africa and I wanted to find a couple of pieces that I think would be missing or are missing in my wardrobe. Things that I would like to have. Um, some of the stuff obviously is gym stuff, you know, getting ready to get back into the groove of things to make sure that I am back in my A game. Look, I am that one person. I'll show you my befores and afters. Oh, you <laughs> like sometimes it's painful to watch. Like, um, I'll post some of my before and after pictures just to show you how dedicated I was to the gym. And I think the difference between then and now right is the fact that now i have a business you know now i've got more responsibilities back then i didn't have a business honestly gym was my hobby like if you said what is your hobby like going to gym because that's all i did you know i would be at the gym for an hour an hour and a half two hours i didn't mind but now hi it's not possible and when there are deadlines to be met in my business that's where my focus is because I have to do my business outside of work hours in terms of getting things ready and i've got an employee who who does the work physically so what i would do for example is i would wake up early in the morning by early in the morning guys i mean at two or three in the morning i wake up at two or three a.m in the morning i then go to my workshop which is within the house i go to my workshop I will draft the pattern for whatever it is that we're making for the day or whatever production requires to be made that needs to be delivered within the next 10 days, three days, four days, whatever the timelines are. So I'll wake up, make a cup of coffee, go to my workspace, draft a pattern, cut the pattern, you know, take the material, cut that fabric, lay it out. And I think the reason I do that right is because i'm very fussy about fit oh, it's the one thing that somehow i want to learn to let go i am very ocd i'm very hands-on um i don't like trusting that somebody else is going to to do the job right so as a result i tend to control that process and also the the importance of consistency brand consistency where when you see a corset and how it fits a person and then you come in order and i get him or, or them to do it then the, the clothes don't fit the same and you're like hey bo, zen is a scam you know what i mean so i'm very fussy about that and as a result of being fussy i do the cutting of of everything from start to finish so i'll cut i'll draft i'll do this and then they will do the, the putting together of the garment and then I have to come back and quality control and then package it and then career it to you or let my people know to come through for a fitting. Then we fit and I see where the issues are and then we finish up the project and send it off to you eventually, you know, um, wedding dresses, obviously it's multiple fittings that need to take place. So I'm very, I'm very finicky in terms of that. So I'll wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning. And after waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning, I will cut the pattern and do all of that. I am usually done with the work for the day by half past six in the morning. Then what I do is at half past six, I will go to the kitchen and prepare food for my kids for school. Um, one of my kids is homeschooled and then the other two go to a physical school, right? So... I will go prepare the meal, put the lunches in the bag, kids go to school, bye guys, gone. As soon as they leave, I get ready for work. Get ready for work doesn't mean I leave the house. Sometimes I 
work in the comfort of my own home because my job allows me that kind of flexibility. So that means I'll take a shower, have coffee, switch on my laptop, start working, um, you know, catch up on my emails, make sure everything is ready uh, for the day. And then I'll have meetings throughout the day. So most of them would be either a Teams meeting. If I have to leave the house, I have to plan ahead of time, leave the house early, make sure I get to my meetings on time. If I'm presenting the day before, I need to prepare all of that. So that's pretty much my my, my, my day. Um, if I am going to the office, then I'm going to be at the office at about 9, 9.30 uh, due to traffic. Or I'll be in the office earlier than that because then I avoid traffic. Then I will leave the office at about 3 to try and avoid traffic again because it's in Santon. Uh, then when I drive back from Santon, it's usually like a two-hour drive or an hour and a half. So I'm usually home by half past 4 or 5 o'clock. Then when I get home again, it's a matter of quality controlling, seeing what was done throughout the day, um, picking up my son. Well, it's actually picking up my son from school first. Once I've picked up my son from crash, my daughter would usually be home because hubby would have picked her up. So I'll pick up my son, come home, go straight into the workroom, see what has been done. Sometimes that are fit because things are not done the way I wanted them to, but the guys are gone already for the day. Once I've done the quality control, um, then I have to cook because maybe load shedding is going to hit at any point in time, right? So what then I'll do is I'll cook to make sure that the family can eat on time. And once the family's dinner has been sorted, only then will I go, okay, cool, what time is it now? And you know, during the week, quick meals, Baba, quick, 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 because nobody's got time to, to chill in front of the stove forever. So I'll make quick meals, whatever quick meal I can think of at the time, a black, mash veggies meat let's go you know and once that is ready around half past six ish i will leave the house to go to the gym and then my helper will dish up for the kids and so forth but i'm going to leave at the house at about half past six in the evening and head to the gym if i'm going with heavy you best believe that session is going to be an hour i appreciate him so much but yo he's a slave driver he is a slave driver. So when I'm with him, I love it because it makes me feel accountable, you know. And I know when I walk out of the gym, I'm like, I have done my part. And me, I'm very obsessed with reaching my goals for the week. So I've got a, a fitness device and I'm linked to a certain activity rewards program. So I'm very fussy about reaching my goals for the week. So I'll do that. And then we'll be back home around half past seven to eight. Depending on my mood, I'm probably not going to eat because I'm from the gym. And whatever's meant to be for dinner, I'll have that for lunch. Okay? But sometimes my husband insists like, ah, we must eat. So then I'll have a bit of dinner. And after I've had dinner, take a shower. Once I've taken a shower, put the kids to bed. Um, once the kids are in bed, chill with her before a bit. And then after that, Sometimes, depending on how hectic the schedule is, I'll go back to my workroom just to see if there's anything I still need to do, if there's anything that requires me in terms of my Zen Black business. And when I see that there's nothing, then I'll come back and sleep. Sleep at a bond. <coughs> Half past nine, um, 10 o'clock, but then two o'clock, three o'clock, I'll be awake again. And then my day has started. But I must say, I'm largely also controlled by load shedding because, yes, I do have a generator. But who wants to hear mm, generator making noise the wee hours of the morning? And I can't also get a generate, an inverter and a generator. Guys, it's a lot living in South Africa, honestly speaking. So, yeah, man, that's my schedule. That's my day most of the time. And people think, no, you'll make time. You will make time if you think I'm important. Honey, it's got nothing to do with that. I don't have time for myself. I even feel guilty for being a mother. You know what I mean? So it's a crazy, crazy, crazy time we live in. So you're sorry for the long intro. I am Zan, Zanelle Mansour, better known as Zan Black or at Zan Black Official um, on Instagram. And look at me doing an intro right in the middle of it. It shows that I talk too much. So, 
I actually wanted to show you guys some stuff because I went shopping for the first time in probably two years that I've been shopping. I don't go to shops because I have my own brand. But I wanted some stuff, man. So some of the stuff is gym wear and so forth. So I was at... Mr. Price Sport. I was at Mr. Price Sport. Um, at Mr. Price Sport, I got myself some really cool stuff. Well, nothing major, really. My daughter was saying, Mama, you've got a, green, a thing for green things these days. What is it with you and green clothes, right? So I went to buy myself these nice gym tights they've got this at the back tried them on earlier they're high waist for my booty because i need to hide the booty okay and because it's also winter i decided to get myself a jersey or something long sleeve you know so that I am warm in the morning or in the evening when I go to the gym. So I bought this at Mr. Price Sport. I bought it in an extra large for 269 Rand. And then the tights were, how much were they? I also bought them in an extra large. I got a big booty. <laughs> Need to make sure full coverage. I don't like things that are low rise. I don't do low rise, please. I need comfortability. I need to know when I'm at the gym, I'm properly covered. Um, so that's that, I think, that I bought at Mr. Price. And then, I also went to Total Sports. Shows you the gym thing has bitten me gym bag so at total sports i got myself yo this is like the best fitting i don't know if it's a sports bra or if it's just a bra high impact bra it's called it was on special guys here it says 2.99 but i know i bought it for less than that so this was a total sports this is a size 38D. It means my, uh, my boobies have lost weight because when I fit this, it fits like a glove. And then I also got myself a nice top. Well, it's a, a running jacket actually. It's a very nice lightweight material. So that you can breathe even though you're exercising. Absolutely love, 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 love this one. So I got this for myself. And then I also got a top. I always I was telling my daughter, I'm like, I'm always buying um, gym tops, right? And not pants. I don't know why. I need to stop. Now I need to buy pants. So I bought myself this nice top. Oh, it's inside out. It's inside out, guys. It's a cute top. I bought it in large. It says, run it on the side. It's a cute sleeveless light top for, it's for summer days or whatever days. Because me, I'm just one of those people. I'll just put a jersey on top. And then, oh, yes. This was the other Mr. Price thing I bought. I bought a top. It's a purple top. And this top is going to go with some purple tights that I already have. So that was that, right? And then, in the midst of all of this, I also decided um, I needed to go to um, Fushini. Because I haven't been... Shopping in that way for a long time. And while I was eye shopping, looking at things, I'm like, would I be a traitor? 
to myself if I went to Fushini and bought something because for the past two years I've been wearing tan black because I believe in promoting my business, you know, driving my brand, driving my business. Let me wear my stuff, you know, but I'm like, okay, at some point you want to wear other people's stuff. So I went by Fushini. And I bought a whole lot of stuff. I don't know if I want to reveal that now or... But okay, cool. So, I saw this gorgeous shoe. In a perfect color that I wanted. Love it. It's giving me Zara vibes. And that's why I was like, well, it reminds me of Zara. I'll take it. I love Zara shoes. You know, COVID has done something to the knees, guys. My heels would have never been this short. My heels were. But now Kovivi has humbled me. And I prefer Zara heels over my other stilettos, which I'll show you some other time. Then I bought this gorgeous jacket from, from Foshini. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this jacket is gorgeous, guys. I can't wait to rock this jacket when I go to work. I found it gorgeous. I got this for $6.99. Yeah, $6.99. And this is a size 12. That was another thing that struck my ego, ne? I mean, the girl's been gymming. I'm now 12. Just last year, I was a 16. Size 16. Now I'm a 12. You better rock that, baby. <laughs> so, yes, I got this jacket. Because I've already got a skirt that I'm going to match it with. And then I also bought another one. I'm partially in Debele, guys. Why I say that? In Debele, people have a tendency of buying the same thing in different colors. Okay, if I, if I like it, I might just buy it in all the colors. Because why not? I've done that with shoes. These are the most black shoes once upon a time. I've got the shoes in a nude, in a red, in a blue, and in a green. Uh, ombre -ish, you know, color. And it's because I love them. I love them that much that I'm willing to buy all the pairs because they go with so many clothes. Anyway, so I bought this jacket in blue. Right? I think she's gorge. I think this jacket is gorgeous. You see? So I can't wait to, to actually try these on. Even though... When I was looking at the jacket and the shoes, I'm like, yes, they go, but they don't go. It's not the royal blue that I wanted. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep this jacket, especially this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because when I tried it on with the skirt that I intended for this one, the shade of blue was a bit off for me. Um, but maybe I can make, I can make a dress to match it so maybe what i will do is i will go with the jacket to the shop to see if i can find a fabric in this blue shade that will work to match this jacket because i really like it i really really like this jacket and i was looking at it and i'm like this is it's quite nice so we'll see maybe i'll keep it and make a dress sorry a dress for it or i'm gonna return it and get a blazer that looks like the shoe in color haven't decided as yet and then i bought um a bodysuit to match the royal blue so this is the bodysuit what's happening here 
about this bodysuit. A nice bodysuit it's in royal blue to match the shoe so i don't know if you can see when i have these three colors together the jacket and jacket and the way i want it to jacket see but i'll see how i make this work there's a zen black suit though a zen black official suit that i made that matches these shoes and this top perfectly so now I'm still deciding, but because the suit that I made is actually a short sleeve jacket, I'm probably going to make a, um, a long sleeve polo neck and then do a whole blue and blue and blue and blue and blue. I'll see if it goes with black. Look, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out and then I'll show you guys how I paired these things together and if I like how they look. So yeah, that is me. And then lastly, I bought this gorgeous little top, which the nice thing about having your own sewing or fashion business is you can manipulate things and change them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's the fun part. So I bought this gorgeous top, but guys, now me, I'm a double, oh, I'm now a 38D. This gorgeous top, ne? but now this gorgeous top, is too booby like the boobs are just you know i don't have small boobs and i cannot afford to wear things that reveal my boobies right so i'm going to be stitching it up and redesigning it partially so that for me it works always keep in mind that i'm a mother i'm a wife i like respectable looking things like i must be respectable I don't know if I'm making sense. But yeah, that's me. Um, I'm going to nicely make sure I pay up these items, you know, and see what works. And then I will show you guys in a video, maybe. I'll show you guys maybe on my Instagram page because, oh, my Instagram page is one of those. I need lessons, Google. I need lessons. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try my level best guys to show you how these things are going to look but you know the gym stuff you'll see on me when i exercise and so forth so i plan to have videos um of me exercising and so forth so yeah that is me and my mini haul i hope you guys uh enjoyed my video i am going to close the video here for today and yeah i think i'll see you on my next video and i don't know what i'm doing maybe i'm doing a tutorial on how to make something maybe i'm going to do it's going to be a workout video maybe it's my lifestyle i don't know you guys comment like subscribe hi guys welcome to yet another video so today I'm starting the video in the car because I've got a couple of errands I need to run. I'm quickly going to pick up my daughter from school and then I'm going to go grocery shopping. Later on, I'm also going to hit the gym. So yeah, I'm taking you guys on a trip with me. Come along. Slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turn to morning, do then you. Let's face 
baby, don't stop Got the key to the lock, we in our own zone Make yourself at home, get to know mine on the inside Can meet at yours next Yo guys, what a day. So I'm busy catching up on my work emails. Just making sure that um everything is done on my side before I go to the gym and I'm also busy cooking at the same time. So me I can't do a cooking tutorial while I'm working or show you what I'm cooking. I'm just busy trying to catch up on on the nine to five. We both already know your place is my place. Now, my place is your 
so I completely forgot to close off this vlog. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see more of, okay? Thank you so much for watching.